This is the time of the year where many YouTubers publish roadmap videos and many of them talk about unrealistic things such as become data analyst in one month or get 10 lakh per annum job etc. I am not going to say anything unrealistic just to increase the views of this video. Following this roadmap will require 3 to 6 months time period where you have to spend 4 hours in your study every day. Basically it requires a lot of hard work so if you are looking for a shortcut do not waste your time leave the video right now. The roadmap will cover week by week study plan using free learning resources, assignment tracker and lot of checklist which will help you become a data analyst. Now I say this with a lot of confidence because me and the co-creator of this video Hamanan, we both are hiring managers. We interview data analyst candidates in our companies Atlic Technologies and Code Basics. In fact, Hamanan has 7 plus years of data analytics manager experience in Europe. I also have 12 plus years of industry experience working for Bloomberg USA. So whatever we are saying is based on real industry experience. Talking about upskilling, we'll talk about tool skills and also core skills. Once you have learned all these skills, they are not enough. You have to learn how to showcase your work so that you can get an interview call and crack the interview. Now let's move on to the PDF file for the roadmap. This is something you can download from the video description below. Here it says three months time period where one and a half hour goes in tool skills, one hour in core skills, etc. Okay. Now, before you start with week number one, there is week zero where you need to do proper research to protect yourself from scams. If you look at some big influencers like Sandeep Maheshwari, uh, they are now talking about these scams which are happening in the market where people sell their courses by making false promises. Many times you will see YouTubers, influencers and people who make courses, they do not have real industry experience. They are just good in talking. They are good in making false promises and they are able to sell their courses. So if you get caught in these scams, it is going to be very bad for you. So first do a proper research. I have provided some videos and some LinkedIn post. In the LinkedIn post, you will see comments from people where they will talk about the scams that uh, you know they were victim of. Uh, basically the idea is you learn from a legitimate instructor. If the instructor has industry experience, that is always good because then they are not teaching you just the theoretical concepts. They can tell you how these concepts are used in the industry. So they can make you uh, industry ready in a true sense. Excel is the most basic and fundamental skill that you need to learn as a data analyst. So in week one and two, you'll be focusing on that as well as business math and statistics. And in terms of core skills, you will work on creating a LinkedIn profile. Now in Excel, it's, it's a big topic. You don't need to learn every single feature of Excel. You just learn basic formulas, some advanced formulas, pivot table, basic charting, etc. You don't need to learn VBA macros, etc. because they are dying down. Okay, you can do the same thing in Power Query and using other features. So you can ignore VBA and macros. In terms of learning resources, I have this YouTube video where we talk about using business math uh, in Excel. And in this video, we have given data sets, we have given all the necessary resources uh, for generating, let's say, PNL and so on. And here we are covering the essential concepts such as mean, median, mode, variance, standard deviation, uh, average percentages. The 20% concepts that you will be using 80% of the time, they are all covered, okay? Another resource that we have is Google template library. So if you click on this, you will go here. Here you see various templates. And if you click on lesson monthly budget, it will show you this particular file where you can enter your monthly uh, budget numbers. So what you have to do is you have to start using this Excel file and then try to understand what kind of formulas there are written. For example, if you look at any cell here, for example, this one, there is a spark line formula, then there is if formula here, okay? You can also customize this file as per your need. So you are becoming your own client. You are using it for real life use cases. 
and you're not only learning it, but you're customizing it as per your need. There is another file called annual budget. You can go through it. It is self-explanatory. Uh, here you can maintain your expenses, income, etc. Now there is a this website called Vertex 42 where they provide these kind of templates, but in Excel format, XLSX. Previously, we were talking about Google Sheets. So you can download any of these templates, for example, college student budget. So if you're a college student, use this and try to understand what kind of formula they are using. Try to customize it. For learning Excel, I will uh, recommend using Chandu's YouTube channel. He provides a lot of useful tutorials. So if you want to learn any particular concept in Excel, you can go through this. Now say if you want to spend some money and you want more structured way of learning Excel, then I myself have this Excel course where we have covered all the basic concepts plus the uh, advanced concepts such as how do you do data transformation using Power Query in Excel. Many people are not even aware that you, they can use Power Query in Excel. We have covered some industry projects and so on. All the reviews are real by the way, so you can check that out. While you're learning Excel, you have to also learn business math and statistics. In that, uh, you learn the concepts such as arithmetic percentages, what is market share, what is year over year growth and so on. And all of those things we have covered in the video that I just mentioned to you a few seconds ago. Uh, the video is available in both English and Hindi. There is a Khan Academy uh, course also on this topic. For example, introduction to percentages. So you can watch that. You can also refer to mathisfun.com. Th this website is really good. It provides you simple explanations. Now, in terms of your core skills, you need to focus on creating a LinkedIn profile. Now, LinkedIn profile is not something you will create after you have learned all the data analyst skills, etc. It is better if you start working on core skills while you are learning the tool skills. So that way you can make progress uh, in both the direction in parallel. Okay, you have to create a professional looking LinkedIn profile. And for creating a LinkedIn profile, we have given a complete checklist. So if you again check video description, you will be able to download this LinkedIn checklist where you are given all the instructions such as how do you create personalized LinkedIn URL. Okay, you can create using this option. And when you have created it, just tick, tick mark this. Okay, tick mark this. As you keep on checking these boxes, your profile will keep on getting better and better. As a motivation, I want to refer you to this interview uh, where a BCom person got five data analyst job offers. Arijit Sadhu was that person and he had a BCom degree. And despite that, he got five data analyst job offers uh, in big companies like Bank of America, Ansan Young uh, and so on. So you can get a lot of useful career insight related tips from this particular video. Now we have given you the assignment. So you can open assignment tracker, which we have built in a tool called Notion. So if you click on this link, you will get this particular page. You can just create a duplicate. Okay. And if you don't have an account on Notion, Notion is by the way, free tool. It helps you track your assignments. Uh, you can create a free account. Okay. And after the free account is created, uh, when you click on duplicate, it will copy the template that I have given you to your personal space. So I'm going to, let's say, add it to my private space here and it will create the duplicate copy. So when the copy is created, that copy is your own copy. Now here you can track your assignments. So for example, for the week one and two, we have all these assignments, right? So create a professional looking LinkedIn profile. So if you click on open, you will be able to open the page. You will have more details. But once that task is complete, you can say done. Okay, this is done. Then if you have used your LinkedIn checklist, then okay, this is done. And as a result, what will happen is in the grid that is above, your progress will change. So here, see, I have 33.3% progress. You see, we can one to 33.3% progress. So this way you can track the progress uh, for your 12 week study plan and it will be better. If you can create a group with your friends, let's say your friends also wants to learn data analysis. Okay. You will create a group and then you can have weekly meeting and you can hold each other accountable. You can check each other's progress. That way you will have motivation. You will be more thrilled 
uh, to do this study. It's like going to gym. If you go to gym alone, it's not going to be fun. But if you go with a bunch of friends, it's always fun. Now, the quick insight here is that only 60 among 100 aspirants will continue further. You can be one of them if you are disciplined and committed. For a data analyst, knowing one BI tool is a must. You can learn either Power BI or Tableau, which are popular BI tools. Uh, say if you are learning Power BI, you need to learn how you can connect Power BI with different data sources, how you can do data transformation in Power Query and all of these topics. In terms of your free learning resources, you can use Sales Insight Power BI project. Now in this project, we are not only going over Power BI basics, but we are teaching you how you can execute a data analytics project using Power BI in the industry. If you look at the views and read the comments, you will get an idea on the quality of this particular playlist. And this playlist has helped many people get a job. It is totally free data set. Everything is available on YouTube. We have other guided projects too. For example, in this project, we invited Abhishek, who is a manager in Oyo Rooms. He's a revenue manager in Oyo Rooms, which is a big hospitality company in India. And here he gave the requirements from the hospitality industry standpoint and we built a Power BI dashboard. The other project is end-to-end -end T20 cricket data analytics where we downloaded T20 World Cup cricket data from ESPN Cricket Info. We actually did web scrapping, okay? So we covered web scrapping, then we covered data cleaning and transformation using pandas and then dashboard building in Power BI. The other project is HR Analytics. I'm sitting in Atlix office, which is a software and data analytics company. And we invited HR of this company uh, to give the requirements uh, on the insights dashboard that she wanted to build. And we built this dashboard. So all of these projects are real life projects. We are not using any toy data sets here. Now one may have confusion whether they should learn Power BI or Tableau. Uh, if you ask me, I will always say Power BI because as per Gartner's research, Power BI is consistently ranked as number one BI tool and the adoption of Power BI is increasing. See, Microsoft has a deep penetration in the industry. So for them, it is easy to sell Power BI. Therefore, I believe learning Power BI makes sense. Tableau is also a good tool. So if you have strong reason, you can definitely learn that. For Tableau also, we have given a few videos here for learning Power BI. You can use all of these YouTube channels, which we have mentioned here. If you are interested in uh, learning in a very structured uh, way, then we have a Power BI course as well on codebasics.io. Talking about soft skills on LinkedIn, you need to start following some prominent data influencers. For example, Herman Vadivel writes nice LinkedIn post here. He talked about what is domain, what is functions and how these things help you in your data analytics career. So when you're reading this post, when you're following these data influencers, you not only get to learn things, but you can also engage. Let's say if you have a question, you can ask a question and maybe Hemanan will respond. Now, folks, when you engage in LinkedIn post, make sure you write meaningful comments. See, these are generic comments which no one will engage to. But if you write a meaningful comment, then there will be many people who will engage. And you will ask me that, okay, if Naveen uh, wrote this uh, comment and if 11 people liked it, uh, what's the big deal? Well, these 11 people, some of them might be data analytics manager. They might be hiring or there could be a data analyst working in the industry. Now, when they like your comment, you are leaving a good impression uh, on their brain. So if you keep on doing this again and again, then that person will uh, build a good repo. Okay. And if they are hiring in their team, uh, you can ask them for a referral or maybe they will reach out to you and you can get a job. So engaging on LinkedIn is definitely valuable. Now moving to core skills, you need to build some strong business fundamentals. For this, you can follow some business case study YouTube channels. For example, Think School. They have this case study on how Amul beat the competition during COVID. And this person talks about uh, data analytics, variety of numbers, and also he gives business understanding. So by watching these videos, by understanding this business case studies, you are making your business fundamentals stronger. Now in the video description, you will find a link of a Discord server. 
where we have like around 40,000 members. Again, this Discord server is free. So if you're learning Power BI, Excel, if you have any question, you can post a question there and some of the community members will help you, okay? Now, when you post a question, there is an art that you need to use. You can't just uh, post a question, hey, I'm stuck here, someone help. Uh, you need to say things a little differently. You should send a message that, look, I'm doing my due diligence and all I'm asking is for a direction and I'm not uh, expecting any ready-made answer. So when you learn that art, and by the way, I'm linking all this uh, LinkedIn post so that you can learn the art of asking questions in a right way. For motivation, we interviewed uh, Rohini Krishnamurti who was working as a nurse for many years. Then she had a career break as a mom. Then she learned data analytics and right now she's working as a data analyst in the industry. So by watching this particular interview, you will get some solid tips. And then here is the assignment folks. Use this assignment, use the notion board that I talked about earlier. Uh, for example, one of the assignment is making a post on unguided project. Here, let's say Haris uh, made this post where he attached a presentation. See, uh, you are learning data analytics, you are presenting insights, and you are also uh, publishing a video presentation which will help you improve your presentation skills. And then people will engage and overall it's going to be very beneficial in terms of your core skills. In week 6, 7, 8, you need to focus on SQL. We call SQL a sort of data science. It is a must skill for any data analyst. Now in SQL, you don't need to learn everything. For example, you don't need to learn database creation, index, triggers, etc. That is more for data engineers, DBAs and so on. Here, you want to focus on the basics of SQL, what is relational database, joins and so on. In terms of learning resources, we have this free YouTube video which is one hour 26 minutes it will teach you all the basics which are needed for a data analyst we have given data set exercise everything so you just watch this video and you will learn these skills you can use other resources w3 schools sql board etc and we have a course on sql on our website now when it comes to core skills uh, in this three week time period you want to improve your presentation skills and for this my most favorite video is on youtube which is how to avoid death by PowerPoint. This person has given amazing insights on how you should uh, build your PowerPoint presentation and how you should improve your presentation skills. So please uh, make sure you check it. Uh, next comes the ATS resume. ATS stands for application tracking system, a resume which is compliant to ATS so that your resume doesn't get filtered automatically. Now we have made a video on how me and Hamanan, we screen the resumes when we interview. In our past experience, we have interviewed hundreds of candidates. We are interviewing people even right now. So from interviewer standpoint, what we look for in the resume, we have discussed that. Your resume should be single page. It should use star methodology for project description and so on. You will be able to download a resume checklist uh, again, check video description and all you do is whenever you have your resume, let's say your template is simple, it is friendly, you just check. You use this check marks to make your resume proper. So when you have check all these marks, your resume will be in a better shape. Now folks, resumes are not dead yet, but they are dying because resumes cannot show your live work. In order to show live work, you need to build something called portfolio website or a project portfolio website. For this, you can use variety of tools such as Novipro, uh, Linktree. You can post your project on GitHub also. Uh, for Code Basics Bootcamp students, we have this portfolio website. Let me show you that. Here, uh, in this website, you can give your, your background. You can also showcase all your project. For example, this particular project is Business Insights 360, where you can see the screenshot, description and so on. Not only that, you can interact with a live dashboard. See, this is a live dashboard. I can click on it. I can click on different visuals, different insights. So if an interviewer is looking at this particular uh, website, they will get a better understanding of your work. When you are in the interview, maybe interview can be conducted based on this. And this will give you a lot of benefit, not only in getting the interview call, but during the interview also in 
uh, cracking the interview, these websites will become very useful. In terms of assignment, you need to participate in a SQL resume project challenge. So on our website codebasis.io, we conduct this free resume project challenge where we give a data set, problem statement, you work on the project and then you write a LinkedIn post, you build a presentation and you showcase your work as if you are presenting against the business stakeholders. The insight at this point is that only 30 among 100 aspirants will continue further and you definitely want to become one of those 30 people. Week 9 and 10 is all about Python and Pandas. Now folks, there are some data analyst jobs where they don't require Python and Pandas, but then there are other jobs where they need this. So you can keep this optional, but if you have time and if you learn this, it's not gonna hurt. In Python, you need to learn all these basic concepts for which we have a YouTube playlist along with the exercises. So if you look at these exercises, they are uh, having solutions, nice problem statement solution. So you learn from YouTube video, you practice on exercises, that way you can make your Python fundamentals stronger. In terms of pandas, you need to learn only these many topics. Panda is a vast library, there is so much to learn. If you go and start learning everything, it will take you a long time. Therefore, just focus on the things which are required by a data analyst role. For pandas playlist, we have a YouTube playlist for pandas in which you need to go through only first nine videos. Talking about project management, uh, the world is using agile project management methodology in which there are two popular techniques called Scrum and Kanban and we have free learning resources for them as well. You can also leverage ChatGPT to handle various areas of your data analytics projects such as data collection, data cleaning and so on. And for all of these areas, we have given videos, we have given different prompts that you can use. So go through these prompts and learn how you can use AI, how you can use ChatGPT to make yourself more uh, productive, how you can become AI enabled data professionals. Now domain knowledge is super important for a data analyst career role. And for that, we have given 15 different learning resources. The links are here, go and watch them. For assignment, uh, you need to make a LinkedIn project post. For example, Aryan Sharma participated in our resume project challenge. Then he made uh, this LinkedIn post where he talked about the insights that he generated uh, with the Power BI dashboard that he had built. Now, when you are uh, building this presentation and making a video post on LinkedIn, you're not only improving your presentation skills, but you're getting attention of uh, potential recruiters. For example, this post got 764 engagement. And if let's say this particular person uh, clicked on the like button, that person might have five other people. And let's say if one of those people is a hiring manager, your post will show up in their feed. So you are getting attention, you are getting visibility uh, in this LinkedIn market where many recruiters are also active. By the way, Aryan Sharma got a job because of his resume project participation. You can go through his profile uh, and read the post that he made, okay? So I think in this post he has mentioned how he got a job at uh, this particular company. Uh, a resume project challenge is something that we conduct every month. So if you go to codebasic.io, click on resume projects, you will be able to participate in these challenges for free. There is no charge. We give a problem statement, then you make a data analytics project, and then in the end, you make a nice LinkedIn post, just like how Aryan did it. The insight at this point is that you are among 20 out of those 100 aspirants if you have come this far. All right, you are done with your studies and week 11 and 12 is for interview preparation. For SQL interview, there is a website called Data Lemur. Again, free website where you see questions which are asked in different companies. For example, this question was asked in Twitter. Here you can read the question, practice it, and you can run the code to see the results. You can then compare your results with the solutions. So you need to create a login here and when you click on solution in discussion, you will be able to verify your solution. 
Tech TFQ channel is also another good resource for SQL interviews. And for Power BI interviews, Learn with Gigs is another good YouTube channel. Here I have given you a link of all unguided projects and these projects are nothing but different resume project challenges that we have been conducting. So you can go through these uh, projects and practice them. So as you practice more and more, your skills will become more stronger. For job application also, I have given some resources such as how do you use cold emailing for applying for jobs? How do you ask for referrals and so on? So the assignment for week 11 and 12 is you participate in more resume project challenges and then you make LinkedIn post uh, for that, okay? And you will also work on all these assignments. Now, if, if you are at this stage, you are among five or 10 among those 100 people who started. So there are many people who will start learning data analyst, uh, new year is starting, they will take a resolution that, I want to become a data analyst, but majority of the people give up because nowadays people don't have patience, they can't continue with the committed effort. But let's say if you have come this far, then that means you are one of those five person or one of the rare people who are committed and you should be proud about yourself. So far we have talked about using different internet resources for your learning, but let's say if you're a person who doesn't want to go through different resources and who want to learn through a single resource in a step-by-step -step manner, then we have a bootcamp. So on Code Basics, you will see uh, the data analyst bootcamp, which is highly rated. You can read all the reviews here. If you click on view all, you will see the reviews. You can click on the LinkedIn uh, profile of this particular person. Uh, of course, see if, if, if it is my bootcamp, obviously it's hard to believe uh, that, okay, whatever I'm saying is true, but you can talk to one of these learners who have taken these courses and they will give you the, the honest review about the bootcamp. Now I want to give some tips for effective learning whenever you are consuming these videos or reading articles, that is one small portion. The portion where you need to focus more is in digesting, implementing and sharing. So let's say I watched a video on SQL joins. That is just a small portion. After you have watched this video with a focused mind, try to think about it. What did you learn? You know, close your eyes. Take note and pen and write down what did you learn and try to digest that information. Then implement it. So try to practice some SQL queries which is using joins. So by implementing also your understanding will become solid and also try to share. So if you have made a group with your friends for studying data analytics, then share your learning with your friends. Maybe try to help them. Try to help people on our Discord server. Talking about Discord server, uh, we have this partner and group finder channel where see this person is saying I want to learn data science um, Can someone help? Can someone join me and there, there are a couple of people who are showing the interest So this way you can make a group and we want to go back to our gym example If you go to gym alone, you're not going to like it But if you go there with a bunch of friends, you will love it So use the same method here for your learning I recently published a video on how to land a job as a fresher in 2024. And in this video, we have shown a job funnel where I've shown how people get filtered at each stage uh, in that job funnel. So watch this video and we wish you all the best, both me and Hamanan. We wish you all the best for your learning journey. This PDF checklist, folks, everything is available for free in the video description. All you need is download it and learn with commitment. Okay, commitment is very important. If you have any question, post in the comment box below. Me and Hamanan will try to answer as many questions as possible. Bye-bye.